up, peeps? Loving the peeps out there. How you doing? It's a big man here. Prairie Stuffer. And as always, my baby girl. Look at how pretty she is. I am a lucky man. I am a lucky, lucky man. It's that smile. Anyways, we're out for some... We're out for some grub. And getting some food. Do one of our drives, you know. Doing the thing. We just found out... Uh, town's going back in lockdown. I don't know where this guy's going. And people don't know how to drive. I'm telling you. But anyways, that's another story. Um... Here we are. Uh, Amanda's not got a uh, period on her own yet. So we're just kind of waiting for that. If she's only got how many more days left? We got to wait if you don't get a period. Two. Two more days Guys, left? Longest wait of my oh, life. It's been like a beating. But let me tell you something. I've been, my legs, well, my leg, I'll tell you a little bit about my legs aren't doing aren't the greatest right now they think i got some stuff going on with them but that's not my point my point is uh i've been trying to do some some extra walking and uh i've been trying to eat a little bit better i've been trying um anybody's got any tips uh big man like myself it, it's hard uh anybody can uh with the with the snacking or anybody's got any tips, I I I'd sure I'd sure hear them. But hey, that's enough about me. Let's talk about the wifey. She's been going through some off days, to say the yeah. least. I feel like it leveled out though. Yeah, like, a little I bit. Feel fine now. It was bad for a few days. Um, it was bad. Um. You ride the wave, right? Mm-hmm. I'll never get the hang of this sticky thing. <laughs> Selfie sticky thing. But it's working. It's filming all right. Well, the thing that I'm supposed to look at the camera. There we go. Hey. <laughs> but, uh... I talked to my doctor about it. How did that go? Yeah, I mean, I went and seen the doctor about the, uh... Or mood swings and stuff yeah, like that. Depression and anxiety. Um, the problem is the there's people that take anti anxiety or antidepressants when they're pregnant, but there's no proven studies if it's actually safe. So it's like a catch twenty two. Like he can give me the medication, but if I was to get pregnant, then it could it could mess up. Yeah, like, all of the all of the work and waiting and all the. But then on the other end of it, if I don't get it under control, then that can also mess up my pregnancy. So it's like, it's kind of like a catch twenty two. I feel fine now. I would obviously want to do medication as last resort. Yeah. Um, and like I said, it's not like an all the time, all the time thing. It felt like it was like it wasn't going to go away, because that was the longest stretch I think. That yeah. I had. Um. Yeah. So, it doesn't do wonders for the relationship either. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> I can't. I can't. But anyways, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, folks. She's she's done stuck with me. Um, she is stuck with me. I'm, I'm gonna be around for this girl, even though she makes me nuts sometimes. But look at that smile. How could you not want to be around that smile? Crazy. We're having a good time though. Hey, we got our companions today. Look at this one. Yeah, we brought the girls for a ride. Boo. Oh, they got their haircuts too. You see their haircuts? Hi, Maggie. That's a nice ride. Uh, I love this dog. <laughs> yeah, that's my girl. She's a daddy's girl. The other one's in the back seat. It's dark. You yeah. can't. You can't. I can't even drive it. <laughs> but she's back there. She. She. That's the good one in the car. Bella is so good in the car. Um. She just finds a seat. And that's where she sits. She, she goes and to she sleep. She sleeps. <laughs> she goes to sleep. It's good. Unless she has to pee or poop, then she'll yell at us. Yeah. But other than that, we don't hear from her. Maggie, on the other hand, knows how to open the windows, unlock the door. She's psycho. 
But yeah, I guess I just I wanted to talk. I've been struggling with the connection that we're having or we're not having. I've been struggling with it a little bit this week. I feel like sometimes we're miles apart. And that's not us. Life, you look at life anybody. Gets in the way, though. Life life's real. is tough right now. Everything's closed still. We're going back into lockdown. Like it, everything's such a drag. And I, I'm all about half glass, half full, and being optimistic. And I'm happy go lucky. I'm the most bubbliest guy. And you could ask my wife; she'll tell you. I'm always goofing around, even when I, I probably shouldn't sometimes. But um, I'm just, I'm just not feeling it lately. My thing with the lockdowns, though, like, and I know other people will have a different opinion, and that's totally fine. Um, Everybody's allowed their own opinion. Oh, for sure. And, again, totally cool. I've worked this entire pandemic. Um, I did have to get one COVID test um, because I was throwing up the one day because I was sick. But it was negative. Um, I've been front lines this entire time interacting with probably over a hundred people every single day. Yeah. And my whole thing with it is how can you say it's safe to go to a big box store with like 300 plus people, but it is not safe to go to one of your family members. Like, I feel like they're doing the lockdowns half ass, like more needs to be done. If you're going to lock us down, just do it. Then just do it. I would much rather stay home for the two, three weeks you know, yeah. and just get it done, over with, get yeah. rid of it. this has gone on too long now. Right. We're over a year. Like, shit or get off the pot with this, you know? It's clear people aren't going to listen, right? That's That's been made clear this entire time. So, why even give us the option to go to these packed stores? My store was packed today. Like, why even give the option? Get the stuff that you need for two to three weeks. Right. Shut it all down. I agree. You know, and I don't want to live another year of this. Like, I, yeah, I don't want to do this for another year. I, I, I really missed the water park last year. Yeah. It's not looking like it's going to be open again this year. Guys, you couldn't even find yeah. a pool to buy one nah. last year. Like, no, nah. there was and, scalpers. And, and the air, even the window air conditioner units, people were on Kijiji selling them for like 800 bucks. Yeah. Like just, just hosing people. Like, that's, that's not good. You got to be good to people, you know? Like, we got central air anyways, but... Yeah. But our know. central air died last year. In oh, the yeah, middle, right in the middle of the, the heat pandemic wave. pandemic and a heat We're wave. We're talking... <laughs> we had last 20 days straight where it was above 40. For all you With American friends, that's like in the hundreds. Yeah, on the Celsius side or whatever it is, Fahrenheit. But, um... Yeah... I just wish they would do more so that we could actually, actually get rid of this. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make this about, this is supposed to be about uh, PCOS and how we're doing (laughs) and stuff. But it plays a role in it. Like it does play a role in it. I can't even have my, my husband who I live with come into my doctor's appointment with me and be by my side at fertility. He can't. He's not allowed. I'm going to sit in the car. And technically, he's not even supposed to sit in the car. You're supposed to go by yourself. And, like, that's a sad reality for a lot that's of people. That's some bullshit, because I'm going to be in the car. Like, Anyways. there's a lot of people that are going through this, or going through cancer treatments, and, and yeah. you can't bring somebody with you. I don't know if different areas have, like, relaxed that now, or what, um, but it drives a wedge, for sure. Definitely. This whole thing's been hard. Yeah. It's been hard on a lot of people. And here I am boohooing about because she's a little moody sometimes. Who gives you shit? I got big shoulders, <laughs> right? I can take it. I can be a punching bag once in a while. I don't mind because look at his smile. She's going to do every time I say, look, <laughs> I live for that smile. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Take it to the grave. I live for that smile. But anyways, yeah, so... Fertility's coming. To, uh, two days we're going to have, uh, the latest two days we're going to have an, an appointment. appointment. And uh, if you remember, 
the end of a, a couple weeks ago, the la our last cycle there, she was doing really well and she was starting to respond to meds and um, uh, follic the follicles were good. Or we had we had one follicle, Nine but millimeters. her estrogen, that's what it was, yeah. was going up and it was doing what it was supposed to. So I think we're jumping right into shots now, right? Yeah, as far as I know, um, from my last email, the doctor doesn't want to do another round of Clomid, which is totally cool because, yeah. um, quite frankly, I'm tired of wasting time. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, another uh, shit or get off the pot kind of situation. Right. Like, anyways, I'm totally cool with the injections. I like that they can tweak them better, they can figure out the right dose that I need. Um, uh, yeah. So, as far as I know, based off of my last email, we will be doing injections. So, that's exciting. Mm. So, I have to email them Tuesday, if I don't get my cycle, to get the Provera. So, yes. And that's where we're at with that. And we will definitely film that. Mm -hmm. And take you along. I mean, thanks for riding this out with us so far. Yeah. You know, like, we love you guys for real. And the words of encouragement and, and all that stuff yeah. is really, really we helpful. We love to hear it in the comments, and we, we really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You know, this is this is a challenging time for everyone. Yeah. And it has been, and then... That's why I just want it to be put to an end, you know? Yeah. Because it's not just COVID that that's taking people's lives. It's it's depression. It's cancer. And, and like, their families can't even go and see them. Like, it's such a sad reality right now. Maggie... Don't be rude. <laughs> yeah. Maggie's barking at people. So. Well, that's our update. Mm -hmm. We love you guys. Um, hit us up in the comments. Subscribe to us. If you hit the little bell thing, I think it'll let you know when we have a video up. Is that how that works? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Do that. We love you guys. Say bye, honey. Bye. Bye.